We're here at the PAS opening with Melanie Thompson talking about her piece, Dipnet Catch the Day. Melanie, I see a lot of plastic in this piece. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about materials that you're using? Um, these are called hoochies and they're used in fishing. Um, sport fishing mostly and my husband had a huge collection of them and I love them and I said to him don't ever throw those out because I want to do something with them usually they have a hook inside and they didn't so anyway I thought about uh, I was thinking about plastic in the ocean and and I wanted so I used these and I formed a net using the plastic deer net fencing and then I stitched each one individually onto the net and painted the branch and I when I went to write my artist statement I thought how does this really relate to plastic in the ocean like it did there wasn't a connection I was writing my artist statement and I went oh my god I've got to fill the net with plastic how why did it take me six months to figure that out it's so obvious anyway and I filled it with plastic and and that was um, the statement of my piece yeah, well, I feel like, I mean, even though that's a deer fence in there, that certainly does look like drift net. Drift net. Does it? I don't know that. I don't know about drift net. But uh, I have a lot of deer net fencing left over from our garden, and I've used it before. I really love to use it. I've made a dress out of it for a show, and um, I've still got a lot more to use up. <laughs> How did you do, where, where did you find the branch? How did you decide to use this one in particular? I think, I, I think it's a curly willow branch from our curly willow tree. And a lot of branches broke off in, when we had a snowstorm. And um, I wanted, I was thinking about what to hang, I don't really know anything about dip nets. I just called it dip net. And I, I didn't, wasn't sure how I was going to display the net. And then I thought, well, I, I wanted to hang it on the branch. I ha love this paint color. And um, so I just painted and hung it and hoped that it was going to work. <laughs> And it did. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting because, um, you know, I've spent time snorkeling around here and scuba yeah. diving around here. Yeah. And these hoochies, you find them everywhere, just as much really? of a plastic waste as anything else, with hooks still in them. Really? Really? You know, Rosalie Matchett's husband said to me that sport or that fishing is one of the worst polluters of plastic in the ocean. And I was really amazed because I thought that there was other stuff that was a worse that contributed to the plastic in the ocean, not as much as that, but he said it's one of the worst polluters. It's pretty horrifying. It really is. Well, this piece certainly sends a positive message and a message to invoke change in that situation. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. never going to happen. <laughs> Melanie, I appreciate you taking the time, yes, and let's hope that it does happen. Yeah, yeah. Best of luck in the show. Thank you very much. Thank you.